you know, of love and loss and reaching out. And I know that we'll never have to suffer loss if you're not, if you don't decide to love. My wife, you know, knowing that I have somebody that has supported me and, and we can dress up and I can. Kevin Costner has had a whirlwind romance of his own, especially in 1995. In fact, right from his first divorce to his current marriage. For years, Kevin dated and had rumored affairs with top Hollywood celebrities and models. Almost giving up on true love and a close-knit family of his own, Kevin finally found love again. Who succeeded in getting Kevin to commit long-term and even give up his infidelity ways? And what issues did his whirlwind past romance cost him? Brace yourself as we explore Kevin's love life and how he became the adored father and husband he is today. First marriage and divorce. Kevin Costner's journey through love and relationships has been quite a roller coaster. He enjoyed being single for a long time, dating many women, and getting a reputation as a big time ladies' man. This lifestyle brought a lot of gossip in Hollywood and filled the pages of tabloid magazines, even though Costner tried to keep his personal life under wraps. Despite his success, he found it hard to resist temptation, especially when he was married to his college sweetheart, Cindy Silva. Cindy was Kevin's first love, and he often spoke about her beauty, sweetness, and intelligence. They met at California State University in Fullerton and tied the knot in 1978, going on to have three kids together. However, rumors started swirling about Kevin's unfaithfulness, which greatly strained their marriage. Regardless of trying to work things out, they eventually called it quits in 1994 after being together for 16 years. Even before their marriage ended, Kevin had hinted in interviews about his desire for something more and his dislike of being tied down by someone else's rules. He openly talked about the challenges of being married and the constant battle against temptation. Despite his struggles, he tried to handle everything with grace and dignity. Before we get more into that, do you know how Kevin grew up? Kevin Michael Costner was born on January 18, 1955 in the United States. He is involved in acting, show business, producing movies, and the music industry. He's won many awards like two Oscars, three Golden Globes, and an Emmy. His mom and dad were William and Sharon Costner. He's the youngest of three boys, but one of his brothers died when he was born. His mom worked in welfare, and his dad was an electrician and worked with utilities. Kevin's dad's family came from Germany to North Carolina in the 1700s. And Kevin also has ancestors from England, Ireland, Scotland, and Wales. He grew up Baptist and wasn't into school, but he liked playing sports, especially football. He also learned to play piano, wrote poems, and sang in the church choir. He says watching the movie How the West Was Won when he was a kid made him love Western movies. Kevin's marriage to Cindy ending wasn't a surprise for his close ones they had seen their relationship problems. Looking back, Kevin admitted marriage was tough and resisting temptation came with a cost. He knew people expected a lot from him and the media watched closely. Despite the struggles and pain, Kevin Costner eventually found love again after years of dating, affairs and divorce. It wasn't an easy journey, but he finally found contentment Throughout it all, he learned important lessons about love, relationships, and being true to himself. Then something heartbreaking happened. Kevin Costner and Cindy got divorced. Then he started seeing Bridget Rooney, whose family owns the Pittsburgh Steelers. They were together from 1995 to the following year. Kevin tried to keep it a secret, but when Bridget had their son, Liam Costner, people found out. At first, Kevin wasn't sure if Liam was his, but a test showed he was. Kevin set up a trust fund for Liam and kept in touch with him sometimes. There were rumors about Kevin being unfaithful to Cindy, like with Halle Berry in 1989. They never confirmed it, but they stayed friends. Some tabloids also said Kevin was with Michelle Pfeiffer, adding to the gossip about his love life. In the midst of all the talk, there's another lady, Bobby Jean Brown, who said she went out with Kevin. You might know Bobby from the Warrant music video, Cherry Pie. She spilled the beans about their time together in her book, saying she was a bit of a mess back then. She even confessed to setting a fire at Kevin's place during their fling. 
Then there's Peggy Trentini, a model and actress from the 80s and 90s. She wrote about her time with Kevin, too. Nowadays, she's all about real estate, leaving the spotlight behind. These stories give us a glimpse into Kevin Costner's love life, full of ups and downs, gossip, and every now and then, some truth. Through it all, Kevin's still doing his thing in the movies, handling his personal life while staying the same beloved actor we know. During Kevin Costner's marriage to Cindy, people questioned if he stayed faithful. There were rumors about him having an affair with actress Mira Sorvino in 1993, just before his divorce from Cindy was final. Mira was still new in her acting career back then, with only a few movies under her belt. Their affair didn't last long, and soon after, Mira became famous for her role in Woody Allen's film, Mighty Aphrodite. There's this guy fucking me from behind, right? And there's these two huge guys dressed like cops in my mouth at the same time. After Kevin split from Cindy, he reportedly dated actress Holly Sampson briefly in 1994. Holly was known by different names on stage and appeared in some TV shows before entering the adult film industry. It was another part of Kevin's love life story. That's not all. In the mid-90s, Kevin got together with supermodel Naomi Campbell. But it didn't last long, even though Naomi was really famous in modeling. After that, Kevin's love life got more complicated. People said he had a short romance with actress Karen Resnick, who acted in movies like Clarice Hart and Her Alibi. We're not sure about the details, but Kevin was known for liking women, so that it could be true. People couldn't stop talking about Kevin Costner's personal life, Tabloids and gossip columns were always digging into his romantic past, trying to find out everything. Despite being a big deal in Hollywood, Kevin's relationships were always up and down, with short flings and quick romances. Kevin earned a reputation as someone who dallied with many women. This reputation wasn't just born out of thin air. It thrived on the whispers and guesses swirling around his romantic escapades. Despite his triumphs in the movie world, Kevin couldn't escape the overshadowing effect of his personal affairs, which often stole the limelight from his professional victories. In the whirlpool of Hollywood romance, Kevin Costner's journey through matters of the heart echoed the roller coaster ride of his on screen characters, brimming with passion, turmoil, and sporadic moments of genuine connection. Despite the tumultuous nature of his love life, Kevin remained a captivating presence, whether under the spotlight or away from it. Enchanting audiences with his magnetic personality, undeniable charm, and remarkable skill. You'd think that was wild, but you don't know the half of it yet. The hotel scandal and fight with Cal Ripken Jr. back in 2006, everyone was talking about Kevin Costner for all the wrong reasons. There was this big scandal accusing him of doing something wrong during a massage at a fancy hotel a couple of years earlier. People were really into it, gossiping and making judgments about him. But then, out of the blue, one of Kevin's exes, Bridget Cunningham, came out to defend him. She said he's actually a really sweet guy, not the type to do anything shady. Bridget made him sound like the perfect gentleman, maybe a bit clueless sometimes, but definitely not someone who would act up, especially towards women. This big problem made people think wrong about Kevin and wonder about why famous people get watched so much. It showed how the news and everyone else can decide things too quickly without knowing everything. Bridget sticking up for Kevin showed us that famous people are just like us, with feelings and complicated lives, not just what we read in the magazines, the event showed how things work in Hollywood and the entertainment world. It highlighted how important it is for people to agree and respect limits, especially in private situations like massages. Even though we didn't know everything about what happened, it got everyone talking about how famous people in the media should act responsibly. Kevin found the scandal really hard, and it humbled him a lot. He had to deal with people saying bad things about him, but Bridget stood by him no matter what, which gave him some hope when everything seemed dark. It showed him he wasn't alone in dealing with all the attention from the public. There's more. 
In 1995, there were many rumors about Kevin having dinner with Angie Everhart, who used to act and model. She was famous for appearing in lots of Sports Illustrated swimsuit magazines. Then in 2000, Angie got even more famous when she posed for Playboy. Soon after, Kevin and Angie were seen together, which made people start gossiping that Kevin might be trying to get back together with his ex-wife, Cindy. Not long after they went out to dinner, Angie started dating someone else and later got married to Ashley Hamilton. He's known for being really good at lots of things like acting, singing, and making people laugh as a comedian. When Angie married him, it was like starting a whole new part of her life and everyone stopped wondering about her old relationships. Kevin's romantic past also included Courtney Cox, who played Monica Geller on Friends, a super popular TV show. Oh my God. It's true. Who am I? Monica, your mom. <gasps> Some people who know about these things say Kevin and Courtney had a short romance in 1995. Then, six years later, they ended up working together on a movie called 3,000 Miles to Graceland. And guess what? Another actor in that movie was David Arquette, who ended up marrying Courtney later on. That made the whole story even more interesting. Kevin's romantic adventures give us a peek into how tricky relationships can be in showbiz. Whether he's having dinner with a model from the past or dating another actor, everyone's always watching and guessing. But behind all the talk, there are genuine feelings and bonds shaping Kevin's personal story. Every time Kevin got into a new relationship or people talked about him possibly dating someone new, it just added more chapters to his love life story. It showed everyone how he was dealing with all the ups and downs of love while everyone watched. Whether he was trying to make things work again with his ex-wife or starting something fresh with someone else, Kevin's journey through love and relationships showed how tough and wonderful it can be to let someone into your heart. Kevin's love life keeps grabbing people's attention, showing how we all go through the same stuff with love and relationships. Hollywood might look shiny and exciting, but deep down, it's all about wanting to connect with someone and find real love and understanding. It's a reminder that no matter who you are, we all crave that special connection with someone else. 1995 was definitely Kevin's whirlwind romantic year. His life is all over the place, with lots of different relationships and connections grabbing attention in the news. One of these was with Cheryl Teague, a famous American fashion designer and model who was called the first American supermodel. Even though Cheryl was really renowned, her relationship with Kevin, like many others, didn't last long. It was just another part of Kevin's love story. It didn't end there. In the middle of all the talk about who Kevin Costner was dating, there was this big rumor about a fight between him and baseball player Cal Ripken Jr. Kevin, famous for being in lots of baseball movies, had been friends with Ripken for a long time. But the rumor goes that things got really tense when Ripken and his wife were staying at Kevin's house, and Ripken thought he caught his wife doing something with Kevin that she shouldn't have been. They say it turned into an actual physical fight, with Ripken getting in Kevin's face about it right then and there. The fallout from the incident was insane. Ripken's streak of playing lots of games in a row might be in trouble because of the feelings stirred up by the situation. Because of this, the Baltimore Orioles, Ripken's team, called off a game, saying there was an electrical problem. But people who knew Ripken well understood the real reason for canceling the game, showing how personal issues like cheating and being betrayed can affect even famous athletes. These stories about famous people like Kevin Costner reveal how tough it can be to manage fame and relationships. It shows that even stars aren't always good at love and sticking by others. Hollywood may seem fancy, but it's full of problems like cheating and sadness. Even the most prominent stars can get caught up in messy situations. Kevin's love life grabs people's attention. It reminds us of how we all go through love, heartbreak, and finding ourselves again. Even with all the ups and downs, Kevin's journey in love shows how we all try to connect and make sense of life with its happy and sad moments. Then, next was yet another love affair another affair and finally the one kevin got caught up in another relationship this time with joan london 
who was famous for co-hosting ABC's Good Morning America from 1980 to 1997. But their love story didn't last long. The media wouldn't stop talking about them. While Kevin was busy talking about his new movie, Waterworld. Waterworld is a really beloved movie around the world. People love Waterworld. You know, you have bad rap, but you know, so what? It's like everybody's had something bad said about them that's, that's probably not true. The newspapers and TV shows were more interested in who he was dating than in his film. Even though Jones said their first date was lovely, the constant attention from the media ended their relationship. Kevin was known for being with lots of ladies and that didn't stop. He had more short romances like when he was with Elle McPherson from Australia. They lived together for a little while, but then they broke up before being together for a year. After that, he started dating Carla Bruni, who is from Italy and France, and sings and writes songs. I don't want to talk about things we've gone through. But Kevin still didn't want to settle down. He had a quick romance with Miss America, Tawny Little, before getting involved with Kelly Preston. She was married to John Travolta back then, which caused people to gossip and made things tense. In the middle of all these love stories, Kevin unexpectedly met Christine Baumgartner, a young model and handbag designer. They first met years ago when Kevin was playing golf for a movie called Tin Cup. Even though Kevin was unsure about falling in love again, he couldn't help but be drawn to Christine's charm. Over time, he realized he had feelings for her. My wife, you know, knowing that I have somebody that has supported me and, and we can dress up and I can... However, their relationship faced a problem when Kevin wasn't sure about having kids, which caused them to take a break in 2002. During the time they were apart, Kevin had a sudden clear understanding that he was letting his fear of making promises ruin his shot at being happy with Christine. He made up his mind not to let her slip away and decided to ask her to marry him. In September 2004, with 300 people watching, they got married at Kevin's big house in Aspen, Colorado, starting a new part of their love story. Kevin and Christine stayed married for three years. Then in May 2007, they had their first kid, Caden. This changed things for Kevin. He cared more about his family than anything else. Two years later, in 2009, they had another son named Hayes. Then, in 2010, their daughter Grace was born. Every time they had a new baby, Kevin loved Christine and their kids even more. Being a dad made him feel like the happiest man on earth and become a role model to others. It was a stay of something beautiful for him. Kevin was really happy with Christine and their growing family. He used to date around a lot, but now he was all about his marriage and kids. He never cheated on his wife. He was totally committed to them. They'd been married for 18 years, and Kevin was a great dad to their seven kids. It just goes to show that people can change for the better, even if they used to be a bit wild. Kevin was happy with his life. He spent a lot of time taking care of his family and enjoying being with them. He and Christine got closer every year, showing how strong love and commitment can be. They went through the ups and downs of being parents together, but Kevin found happiness in the little things of family life. In the flashy world of Hollywood, Kevin always puts his family first. No matter what happens, he stays focused on being a good husband and dad, finding happiness in the simple things he shares with his family. As time goes on, Kevin becomes known not just for his movies, but for being a loving family guy who believes in love, loyalty, and sticking together. In a world where people often don't stick around for long and only care about shallow stuff, Kevin's strong bond with his family shows us how vital love and loyalty are. He's got Christine and their kids, and that's all he needs. It shows that real happiness isn't about being famous or rich, but about having a loving family around you. Do you think Kevin's love life really was wild? Which of these facts did you know? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed watching this video, leave a like and subscribe to our channel to never miss an update.